there is one problem which no computer no programmer can solve and that is called the halting problem in this video we are talking about that so here's the problem if you are given a program and an input for that program can you tell when that program runs with that particular input will it halt or not what do we mean by halting it simply means that the program will stop executing at some point it does not matter if it gives the right output or the wrong output or it simply crashed it means that it has come to an end at some point at one way or the other when a program does not halt it goes into an infinite loop which means that we simply do not know when the program will end or will it ever end for that matter so if we can create a machine or write some fancy program that can solve the halting problem you would have discovered a whole new paradigm of computing because as of today no computer whether it's digital or analog or even theoretically can solve this but how can we say this because we can prove it with theory and logic and we will see how we will prove this by contradiction which means we will start with some assumption and we will see in the due course of time how it does not make sense and we will understand that assumption itself was wrong so let's assume that with some magic and some spells we create a computer or a program which can solve the halting problem that means it takes an input which is a program and let's call it pre1 and it takes the input for that program and the program tells that when we run p1 with this input will it halt or it won't halt so if the program says yes then p1 on having input will halt and if it says no it won't then p1 on having this input will not halt what we do next is we extend this program a bit to create this new program called p2 dash where what we do is if the output of p2 is yes then p2 dash will loop forever and if the output of p2 is no then it will simply halt and we are passing the same uh, input parameters which is program p1 and the input to that program right so again we are checking if p1 will be halting on this input now what we need to do is we need to take this larger program p2 dash and pass it through itself now i understand this might be a bit confusing passing a program through itself and all this but think like this let's say we have a python program line counter which counts the number of lines in a file and i generated this through chat gpt so if it's wrong blame them now this program can tell how many lines does a file or another python program has now what we do is we create a copy of this program and we pass it through itself then line counter dot py can tell that how many lines it itself has so here also we are passing one program through itself and we will do something similar in our proof too let's see how you see now we want to know what happens when p2 dash is run with the input of p2 dash will p2 dash halt or not halt that is the question right so we pass it through p2 dash itself right so here our program is also p2 dash and our input is also p2 dash and the program we are passing it through is also p2 dash ah this gets so confusing sometimes right but well let's let's go on with it right so first it will face the program p2 which will tell will it halt or not halt right so we are giving it to p2 now you see what happens if p2 says that program p2 dash will halt right if it says yes then it will loop forever this doesn't make sense right because just now our magical program p2 said that it will halt but now program p2 dash is looping forever see what happens when it says it won't halt program p2 dash halts so every time p2 says something it is being contradicted immediately and this gives rise to a paradox and all this is happening because the program is talking about itself and it cannot tell whether it will halt or not halt and since we have a paradox we can prove that our assumption itself was wrong that a computer like this a program like this which can solve the halting problem does not exist now i understand that some parts of this video might be a bit confusing and some parts 
of this might be very new to you about theory of computing but what you need to do is you need to go through it again or you need to make notes or you you can also look up other resources um google it or something like that and well then you will be able to understand it completely if you have some gaps see when turing proved this he proved that not all problems are decidable that all problems cannot be solved with a computation maybe we need a completely new paradigm of thinking to solve these problems and when we do that that would perhaps change everything we know forever and with this let me end this video leave a like if you love this video and if you want more content like this around engineering and around computer science um subscribe to this channel and share this channel with everyone you know see you in the next one bye